guys, I'm Timsies. Welcome to the Omnic Recap. The hangovers have cleared, all of the gifts have been opened, and the good intentions are out the door. In other words, it's mid-January. At this point, we're less than three weeks away from season three. So I wanted to take the time today to look forward a little bit. Let's try and figure out what we can expect for the next season. And that is not going to be easy. Blizzard has kept their lips tight shut when it comes to the future months. All we actually know is that this is going to be the start of the new release cycle, where we get a new hero in one season and a new map in the other. Now the first two seasons were a bit of an exception to that rule, on the account of us being greedy little buggers and wanting a hero and a map. But season 3 is going to be a map only season, so no new heroes this time around. And that is about all that we know. Thank you very much for watching. I'm kidding. They also confirmed that there won't be any Sombra changes in Season 3. Poor Sombra mains. It was lead hero designer Alec Dawson that confirmed that on Twitter earlier this week. But I am convinced that there's going to be a ton of other balancing changes. So let's start with that. How about we put a nice title on the screen? There we go. <laughs> Good job, Peter. Aaron Keller shared recently that we can expect those long-awaited Roadhog nerfs somewhere mid-January. So by the time Season 3 launches, those will be out the door. Now I think that that patch might also include some smaller balancing changes, but for the bigger ones we'll have to wait till that start of season 3. And some heroes that spring to mind as possible candidates for these changes are Brigitte and her new ultimate that they've been promising us for, well, quite a few months now. It is actually the balance related question I get asked the most. When is she getting her new ultimate? I don't know, season 3. <laughs> and then there's Moira, she has been on and off the cutting table for almost two years now. They're still trying to give her a little more utility. And you know what? Season 3 might be the moment that they give it another college try. Then there's Wrecking Ball, he might get a little push. And so might Reinhardt, but that might just be a bias. <laughs> Next up, a map. Besides those balancing changes, there is of course going to be a map. I did a video right before the start of the second season, in which I took a stab at what the map for season 2 could be. And it turned out it was the least exciting option of the ones I proposed, Shambhali Temple. And don't get me wrong, I like the map, but my other ideas were a little more out there. Like underwater out there. So go check out the video, I still stand by those options. And one of them might turn out to be a map for season 3, maybe, perhaps. Yeah, to be honest, I don't think that is going to be the case. See, last time we at least had that hint that the map was tied into the new hero, who turned out to be Ramata. This time around, we know nothing. Now, the thing that could make this no hero season stand out a little more is if that map is tied in to a new game mode. Dum dum dum. The team has been talking about a completely new game mode with a complete new set of rules that will be played on huge maps since 2019. Jeff Kaplan was actually the first to hint at it and Aaron Keller gets a huge smile on his face every time he starts talking about that mode. I think it's about time that that mode shows up, right? And then there's PvE. I know that a lot of people are hoping that we'll get PvE in Season 3. And I personally would love to see PvE launched in Season 3, but I highly doubt it. We haven't had a single update on the topic of PvE in years. I honestly think that they'll start talking about PvE at least a few months before they plan to release it. And you know what, I even think it might include a beta, but I'm not sure about that. At this point, I don't know, it might. So what I'm thinking is that PvE might be more of a season 5 or season 6 thing, if we're lucky. <laughs> but there are also some missing features. The weapon inspection animations for instance are still missing. Remember those from the trailer back in the day? Yeah. Now personally I'm not too bothered about the fact that they're not in the game yet. I mean it could be nice but we'll see when they show up. The feature that I'm actually excited about is clans. I mean having a space in the game where I can hang with my community and we kind of fight under the same banner. Yeah, that's going to be cool. On top of that it would also give season 3 a bit of a nudge. So. It's possible. Next up, there's of course a new theme and a new battle pass for season 3. When it comes to the theme at this point, I'm not even going to try and guess what it could be. That Greek god theme for season 2 surprised the hell out of me. Didn't see that coming from miles away. And in the end, that is what they want, I guess. Surprises. Although, I still feel that this Greek god theme would have been a better fit for summer. Because Greece, Olympic Games, Olympians, and because I hate winter. Now when it comes to events in season 3, well that might actually be the biggest surprise. Well maybe not the biggest, but definitely substantial. See when we look at the old Overwatch schedule for the events, the next one would be Archives in April. The thing is that usually starts right after mid-April, which most likely is going to be when season 3 ends. 
So that would mean that there's no events in Season 3. Archives, if it comes back on the same date, is probably going to be a Season 4 event. But I wouldn't look at it as having no events. I think it is an opportunity to put in a whole ton of new events. Like Valentine or Easter. I mean, give everybody pink bunny skins. And we still have stuff like that Sojourn animated short. They might do a bit of a limited time event around that. I mean, at this point, look at Battle for Olympus. Anything is possible. Now, one thing that is for certain is that we're getting another Mythic skin. Now, we're down to heroes. Genji and the Junker Queen both got a Mythic skin. The big question is, who is going to be next? Who is going to be the hero that gets a skin in Season 3? Well, we got a DPS and a tank, so... I'm thinking a support, and I'm thinking that they might go back to the old school heroes like uh, Lucia. Why am I saying Lucia? Well, there was a recent blog post in which they explained the process on how they came to developing the Junker Queen Mythic skin. They do those. And one of the visual effect artists was talking about how the bullets and the size and whatnot is defining for the character and how they cannot mess about with that too much. And he took Lucia as an example which kind of stood out for me. Now that could be because, well, he definitely has one of the biggest bullets out there. Or maybe Lucio is top of mind for the visual effects artist. I'm just saying, yeah, I should get myself a tinfoil hat. And then last but not least, one thing that a lot of people will be looking at for season three, and most likely all the seasons after that, are improvements to the monetization and the battle pass system. Stuff like, will there actually be more of these thematical skins in the battle pass? Are they going to lower the prices? Are they going to give us more free rewards? Now, for some of these topics, I wouldn't get my hopes up too high, especially when it comes to skin prices. But Jared Nurse, the executive producer for Overwatch, said on Twitter, replied on Twitter rather, that they're going to address the choice in free rewards and that that is going to happen in Season 3, which is a little vague. But they're going to be sharing more info on that topic soon. I mean, the obvious thing here is that they let us earn more of these legacy coins and let us spend these legacy coins on more types of cosmetics. Those legacy coins are right there. Use them. But we'll see. Anyways, that is what is in the realm of possibilities for Season 3. There's a few certainties, but there's a ton of questions. And I presume that we'll see all of them answered as we get closer to the start of Season 3, which is uh, February 7th. But tell me, what feature would you like to see in Season 3? Let me know in the comments. Guys, those comments always help out to get the video on top, to get it picked up. And they always bring a smile to my face. Not most of them. So thank you. For now, however, that was it. Thank you very much for watching. See you during my streams on Twitch.tv slash DMCTV or in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Now I need to get a cup of tea. My voice is just... Oh my god.